Hey guys, Cape Fear Survivalist here. We're about 30 hours till departure, so uh, before I left I wanted to kind of go over what I'm going to be bringing with me. Now, keep in mind that I'm only limited to what I can carry in this, this black carry bag and my trusty backpack. So that'll be it. I mean, I have these little pockets on the side, but those are mainly used for uh, these little prepackaged alcohol wipes, um, swabs, and just other little plastic forks and spoons. So uh, with that said, I'll start with the food. Obviously, I want something lightweight, easy to carry, and packed with protein. So I brought a bunch of beef jerky. I mean, look how compact that is. And of course, peanut butter and a little Vienna sausage, um, all lightweight. And I brought some uh, sunflower seeds, seedless, of course, because there's so much salt on the shell. And with limited water resources, you don't want a lot of sodium in your diet. And just some trail mix. Uh, I'm going to be doing some digging, probably for worms, to bait. Uh, so I got some, uh, got a shovel, some gloves, a couple flashlights stick in the pockets, uh, some bungee cords. Instead of resistance, the tree branch comes to you. I uh, got some duct tape, that's universal, some fishing line. Um, and then some more lines, some rope and string. And I can't forget my camping supplies. I have uh, this very lightweight two-person quest uh, tent, easy to carry, and uh, some plastic sheeting. This is invaluable when it comes to keeping rainwater out. Uh, I got my cooking pan right here. As far as blades, I have the only two knives I have is a fillet knife, uh, and then I have an Ontario. Um, this is a Freedom Fighter, 18 inch I believe, and this is a monster. This will chop, this will slice, this will do whatever you want. And uh, I got my hand axe for firewood, possibly shelter, and then a hammer. Uh, can't go wrong with that. And then my chopping board for get small game and fish. And then my two most important items. Uh, one is the flint starter. Um, I'm not going to have lighters or electricity out there, so this is what I'm going to be relying on to boil water and cook my food. And the uh, most important is my Bible. You know, I can find a place to store this. People ask me, um, what are you going to do out there all alone and by yourself? And I truly feel like with this, I'm not going to be alone out there. And of course, with you guys uh, supporting me and praying for me. So with that said, um, hopefully the next time I see you guys, I'll be out there.